Hello YouTube, today I'm doing an update on my butterfly and moth collection. So let's get started. I haven't done a video in a while on this, so I'm going to go through each butterfly and show you if it's new or old or what happened. So let's start with this column. First thing I'm going to show you the setup is the butterfly, common name, scientific name. First off, we have my monarch. That's an older specimen. Let me give you a good look at that. Eastern black swallowtail, also an older specimen. It's a male, pretty good shape. Question mark is new. I got it this summer. All the new ones are from this summer. Kind of a rougher shape, but not too bad. Summer spotted skipper's old, but still good shape. Great Spangled Fertilary. Found it dead in my backyard. Looks like a bird was getting to it, so... Yeah. Red Spot... Red Admiral. Not Red Spotted Purple. That's next. Um, Red Admiral. One of my most prettiest specimens. Found it on an oddly cold day in the summer sitting on the side of the house. Brought it inside and died for some reason. Older butterfly found it flopping around on the ground and it died. Crossline skipper, I caught it and tried to breed them, but it didn't work out and he actually got caught in a small spider web. Peck skipper, um, I believe that is, yeah, that's a new one. Very same way as him almost. I caught it, tried to breed it. Didn't go so well. Red spotted purple's old. Painted lady is old. Still with two very pretty specimens. I did a video on the red spotted purple if you guys want to look at that. Hackberry Emperor. I tried to keep this one alive as long as possible because they're a rare species around here. I didn't want to starve to death, so I just kept it alive. Eastern tailed blue. You can see how worn it is. It was caught in a spider web. The summer azure was two. Spring azure was. Let me think. I found it under a bush. Orange sulfur I caught. Same with the cabbage white. Those two are actually invasive around here, so. Yeah. Pearl crescent. That's an old one, but yet I got a brand new one, so. Yeah, friends sitting on Clover, caught it. Kept it with the other ones around here. On a big butterfly cage. Buckeye's old. American Snail found it dead. Actually hanging off of a Clover. So yeah, another rare species. You could see the snout there. Very neat. Very beautiful when they actually are full and look nice. Now on to the moths. We have the Jersey Tiger Moths. These are new. I have one that's folded up and one that's unfolded. I found that one dead in a spider web. Took a long time to get all the silk off of it and to spread its wings out like that in a kind of defensive position. Sphinx Moths old. Got some Looper Moths. They're also old. I did a video on some caterpillars of them. Fall webworm, I just tried a breeding colony of them, as you guys saw. This is the original one. I don't know which. I think it's a male. A webworm. Found it in my light outside. Kind of caught on something. I couldn't tell what. Hummingbird clear wing is old. Solid webworm. They're invasive. So, I let it, um, yeah, I let it starve, but there are, like, billions of others. Um, tiger moth, I don't know which species they are, if they're the same or not. I might have to take that one out, because, or both of them do reevaluation of both. Army worm. And the lawn worm I kept together. They didn't do so well in captivity. 
Luna Manta did a video on. I kept him around. He looks still very beautiful. Imperial Moth. Very, very, very beautiful. Now for these two, the poly, the polythemus, there is the male up top, female on bottom. I don't know if they bred or not, but yet she laid eggs. They never hatched, so I guess they didn't, even though they're in the same cage. But yeah, that's all at the show for you today. So remember to like and subscribe, and check out my other videos.